Hello and welcome to another How to Code Well web chat. My name is Peter Fisher and in today's episode we're going to look at what to expect uh, from a web development interview. Now I've had several interviews in my web development career. What I've done is I've condensed down the, uh, the core things that I've had to do uh, in every web development interview. So I've, I've condensed it down to four core things and I hope this helps uh, people who are either doing their first uh, web development interview or whether they're doing um, you know their, their other their, their advanced web development interviews for getting another job in web development. These are my four things to expect from a web development interview. Let's get into it. So the first one is a presentation. Now in every web development interview that I've had I've needed to do an, a, a presentation of some kind and uh, these have have uh, differed from a presentation in in a, a sort of a face-to-face -face presentation um, where I've stood in front of a whiteboard and I've discussed some ideas some some uh, methodologies of web development I've also had to present some ideas and some and some work that I've done off of an exercise that I was given prior to the interview and uh, to present my solution to that challenge and I've also had to present um, uh, some things in in a PowerPoint type of presentation. Um, but in all of those scenarios, uh, I've needed to rely on the technology. And the technology um, often fails because perhaps your uh, your laptop runs out of battery. Perhaps they, they don't have the right connections to connect your laptop to the projector perhaps the whiteboard marker doesn't work all of those things those those issues could um, arise and prevent you from presenting your uh, your uh, piece of work and therefore um, I would ad definitely advise to go to the go back to the old-fashioned route of having paper handouts and there that you can give to um, to people in your presentation. So the first thing you need to do is find out how many people are you're going to be presenting to. Therefore, you know how many things that you need to print, print out and always make sure you have enough spare. Make sure you do the printouts well in advance of the presentation, just in case you, you yourself have technical issues. Perhaps your printer goes on the blink. Perhaps you don't have enough ink in the printer cartridges. Perhaps you just simply run out of paper. So make sure you prepare for the presentation well in advance of the presentation itself. Also, don't just present everything that you know. Um, keep some things back because often what happens is you get asked questions off the back of your presentation. So, um, so for instance, they could they could ask you to present um, a methodology of web development, and then they could ask you questions off of the back of that after the presentation about how that methodology fits in their company and how that methodology perhaps enhances web development in general. So a presentation that I've had to do before is a presentation on the MVC model control view um, methodology of frameworks. And, uh, and the questions that I was asked off the back of that was how does that make um, web development more efficient? And therefore I could use things like rapid application development as a means of uh, talking around the points of MVC. That also showed that I was able to grasp other concepts around the methodology of MVC. Also other things that I've done was just, you know, presenting work that I've um, done previously. So ensure that that work is still readily available if you have to present on the internet as well. There's nothing worse than um, talking about a URL and then when you actually go find to find that URL, it doesn't work. So ensure that, the, that you're prepared in every eventuality um, when you present. And when things do go wrong, because they will go wrong, um, just, you know, calmly work uh, talk around it and come up with a solution on the fly um, that also because the thing is when you're presenting you're being tested on your presentation and your communication skills um, so 
if something goes wrong, it's how you deal with that at the time. That's important. Okay, so the second thing is the test. So every web development interview that I've had, I've needed to do or perform some form of test. And that has that's differed from a, the very basic sort of uh, write me a very small piece of um, logic to let's do a full blown um, program, uh, web development query question. It could be SQL. It could be it could be how do you solve, you know, X if you had Y and Z, all of those kind of things. Um, often, well, normally it's it's on the language that you're you're uh, interviewing for. So if you're a front end dev, then it will be a CSS, JavaScript, HTML type thing. If you're a back end dev, then it could be Python or PHP or whatever uh, language you're going for. But it's not always about the keyboard. It's not always going to be in front in, in a in a computer environment. I've had several tests before where it's actually been done on paper. And the first time I did that, it kind of took me a long time to remember the symbols of um, that you need and, and how you actually create a, a program using pen and paper. I was totally out of my depth and that was something that uh, I didn't necessarily, I didn't prepare for at the time. Um, so it's not always going to be in your safe IDE environment. Um, sometimes it is going to be on a whiteboard. Sometimes it's going to be on a piece of paper and you'll be given a biro pen. Um, so be prepared for that as well. Um, and often with the tests, it's not always about getting to the solution. It's It can also be about how you got there. So even if you fail, even if you don't solve the problem that they've challenged you, they will be interested in how you got to that point. So often well sometimes um, the challenge can be quite difficult in a short period of time um, and they'll be interested in how much can you solve within that period of time so it's not all about the solution okay it's how you got there um, and they'll be they'll be quizzing you on things like did you think about um, doing x uh, instead of instead of what you've done they'll also ask you questions as um, if you if you had any more time, then what else would you do? So they'll be looking for, uh, so so if you didn't complete the, the, the test, if you didn't compl um, come back with a solution, they'll be looking at what you would think is the solution going forward. And the third thing is the request for previous work. And this isn't just the work, this isn't just a, a request for URLs and so forth, but this is also a request for the experiences that you've you've had. So often this is the time of the interview where you can talk about um, your experience, ex experiences that you've had um, doing, I don't know, a scalability issue, doing a performance issue, uh, the experience that you've had um, working in a certain framework, that kind of thing. Um, and then finally, it's a discussion of the future of web development. So often companies want to know where you are in terms of like uh, whether you are learning web development on your off your own back at home. Perhaps you're interested in a technology um, that you know you can you you are you see evolving and pushing the web forward um, perhaps it's something that's well out of your comfort zone maybe you're a front end dev and you're looking to learn some back end stuff as well companies are very interested um, with that because it shows that you're passionate about web development it means that you're reading web about web development um, they'll be asking about what blogs you read what youtube videos you watch what conferences you want to go to and all of that kind of stuff so that's very important and they want to know what your take is in terms of the web development in the, in terms of the future of web development where you see it evolving and then where you can put that in their company um, some people are just happy to work on what they currently know and develop their skills in that, which is perfectly fine. Whereas some people want to be pushing themselves into the new technology, the areas of technology, which is great. And um, they would want to discover where you, which side of the fence you sit on, whether you're striving for uh, new tech or whether you are wanting to uh, buckle down and work on the current tech and get that working uh, as good as it can do. So they're my top four. 
Um, but certainly the, the, there are other things that you need to expect from um, uh, a web development interview. If you've got some, then do let me know. Put them in the comment section below. Perhaps you disagree with the things that I've said here. Uh, let me know as well. Let's have a discussion about it. Uh, but if you've liked the video, if, you, if this video has helped you um, uh, prepare for an interview, then do let me know as well. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to get the next web development chats. I do one every week, as well as the tutorials that I've got ongoing. Um, but uh, thanks as always for watching, and I shall see you again next time. Thank you. Bye.